What's up everyone, my name is Miles. I'm a 23 year old full-time Amazon seller. If you're brand new to the channel, so welcome. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you make more money in your online arbitrage business through Amazon FBA. I've done about 1.5 million in sales the last 12 months. Gonna do well over $2 million this year, about a fourth of the way there for 2022. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to supercharge your online arbitrage profits using some simple tweaks that everyone can do today into their Amazon business. So let's get right into it and let's make some more money with online arbitrage. We're going to talk about a couple different ways to make more money with online arbitrage in this video, starting off with discounted gift cards, which is an underutilized one I personally haven't taken it, taken advantage of as much as I should have. This is especially good if you're doing like retail arbitrage or something like that, going into Nike outlets, different things like that. But for some sites that don't really order cancel and just small quantities of orders in general, it can be really, really beneficial. In one episode of our podcast, we talked to a guy who I think he, he saves thousands a month doing this. So it's pretty awesome. And let's talk about it. So we're on a site right now called Cardcast. There's also discounted gift cards on the Rakuten gift shop. So definitely take a look there as well. Um, but Cardcast is actually a place I've sold gift cards before, um, as well as a popular site to buy gift cards on. So you can see here, there's like Nike ones, Adidas ones. We'll look at uh, Walgreens specifically, give you guys kind of the vibe on how to take advantage of this. So coming in here, we can see, right? You can see discounted gift cards, the volume um, and all that. We'll hop back here and uh, type in, uh, yeah, Walgreens and see what's up with it. So here we can enter in, see some of the different amounts and like that. So right here, you can save 11.2% on a small uh, Walgreens order on some of the higher quantities. It's, uh, I think you save a little bit less or maybe more. I don't know. I haven't really taken advantage of this, but it's definitely something I should. Hence why I make this video because I think you should take advantage of it too. Different stuff like that. See some of the different uh, vibe here. A lot of big stores, some smaller ones as well. See like Foot Locker, some of these other sites. Yeah, 1.7%, a lot less. CVS, some of these different sites. Walgreens. So this is a great opportunity to save extra money. Like let's see on a $500 gift card. Right, yeah, here we go. So 210, save 10%. That's the difference between buying and not buying some stuff. Um, so there's definitely a lot of opportunity in the discounted gift card space. Card cash is a good option, as well as the Rockton gift card shop. And so literally, I mean, you can buy digital gift cards and then use those in your online arbitrage orders, especially also if you're doing retail arbitrage, like specifically like Nike outlets and stuff where you're able to get a lot of profitable inventory. If you can save, right, 5% compounded across a year over the long term on, for me, for example, right, like some of these different ways are going to save me like an average, like three to 5% across a whole year on a million in spend. That's going to be an extra like $50,000, which is amazing. And for, you know, different ways and really just with business in general, thinking long term can be so beneficial and the compounding effect of this stuff over time is so powerful. That's definitely one good option. Another way to make more online ar uh, money with online arbitrage, which we can see here in the top right, has actually made me over um, over $14,500, which is amazing over about uh, two or three years. Here is called Rakuten, which basically is a site, uh, Chrome extension that gives you extra cash back. So you can see here, Macy's 4%, Adidas 8%, different stuff like that. Disney, all these different sites, pretty much any big site you'll be able to uh, find on here. And we can see here H&M, right? 4%. It's really just amazing savings and it's completely free to use. Um, so you can see here, it's called Rakuten. They actually sponsor the Golden State Warriors. Um, so you might've seen the Golden State Warriors. They have it like right there on their jersey and everything like that. So Rakuten is a fantastic option as well to grow your online arbitrage products or profits. So you wanna have that on your Chrome browser. So do all your checkouts through Google Chrome. It'll just pop up when you come to a certain website and let you know the cash back percentage and then you wanna go ahead and activate it. There's also a site called Cashback Monitor, which aggregates some of the, the different uh, cashback monitor or cashback sites, you know, affiliate sites, whatever like that. I prefer to just use Rakuten to keep it simple, but I know some people definitely take advantage of some other ones like Top Cashback, um, different sites like that to grow. And uh, moving on, kind of a trick I like to use with Rakuten is uh, going ahead and partnering it up with Tactical Arbitrage. And so you guys know Tactical Arbitrage is a site that like automated searches through uh, different websites and everything like that. I don't personally use it myself these days, uh, but back in the day, I used to use it a lot, like a year ago, right when I was getting the ball rolling, getting my first 40, 50K sales months um, and all that is actually using Rakuten, hitting the hot deals right here and finding coupons and then going ahead and plugging those coupons in on tactical arbitrage searches, right? So filtering down and including the extra discount on the tactical arbitrage shirts, for example. So 
right? Let's say right here, rack room here, 10% off, right? Or $10 off and a BOGO, right? So we'll just call it $10 off. Uh, so mostly makes sense for percentage-based sales, right? So like, let's find one here, uh, Vivid Seats, for example, not that that'd be like an online arbitrage site. Um, let's see, Ulta has one. Okay, Kohl's, for example, if you were to run a sale on Kohl's or like Foot Locker, um, for example, right? And you plug that additional coupon in as a filter, on the sale, that's going to give you a ton of extra products, theoretically, and compounded over the long term, you're going to get access to a ton of extra profitable items because everyone and their virtual assistants are just running the same cookie cutter TA searches every day. But you plugging in that discounted filter is going to get you a lot of extra margin as you go. Additionally, kind of a pro tip that isn't necessarily going to like a little trick, but uh, it's just kind of plug in is on top of tactical arbitrage, you could plug it in with tactical expander. And some of these sites we saw here that had coupons, you can use Tactical Expander to be able to run Tactical Arbitrage searches on that. So now that's kind of a mouthful, but basically it's a plugin that works together with Tactical Arbitrage to give you a chance to search other sites. And when I bought it, it was 500 bucks for a lifetime key. Luckily now there's a monthly option. So you guys can go try that out. But the combination of plugging in a coupon here, searching Tactical Expander or using Tactical Arbitrage to search, Tactical Expander to search sites that aren't on TA, is a fantastic opportunity and something you should definitely take advantage of. So I like the idea of using Rakuten as a search engine to also find coupon codes, not just a site to also get cash back. But you guys can see up here in the top right, 14.5K in extra profit uh, since I think early 2020s when I started using it. So that's amazing stuff. And that's been really helpful for me over time. And you should definitely uh, be taking advantage of it. Uh, third one is a little bit more situationally dependent. Uh, however, I think everyone should take advantage of a high rewards credit card just to spend, put your spend through and then pay it off, right? Just use it as a filter, right? Because not only do you get better purchase protection when you use your credit card, to my knowledge, you also get 2% cash back using this card, right? And I don't even have an affiliate link for you, but it's just an awesome option, right? I use it myself. This month so far, I spent about 125 grand on products, and most of that was on my Capital One Spark card. Like if you're following me on Instagram, you, which you should be, you you probably saw the screenshot of my credit card balance, which was awesome. So just on that, I'll make two grand profit this month, as well as you know, compounded over the long term, hopefully over a million in spend this year. Uh, put on a two percent cash back card. That's going to be an extra 20 grand, which is awesome as well as combined with some of this other stuff we've talked about. So definitely consider just putting your spend through a high rewards credit card and then paying it off immediately, right? Because even if you should have the cash to pay for the inventory and everything like that, not that I haven't scaled with credit, but either way, and just putting it through this card, it's going to get you an extra 2% ROI on every purchase. So definitely a vibe and you should use it. Okay, and then the last option is actually using rewards accounts with different websites that offer like loyalty rewards and different stuff like that. So just to give one example that I, I've personally used a lot of, um, one site I've been on, I think they give like an extra uh, like 5% back for every dollar you spend. So right, 5% back and like rewards points or whatever, it's some complicated thing. But basically, you know, for every dollar spent, getting 5% back over time, right in rewards points really adds up. And that can be the difference between buying something and not buying something over time. Looking at Ulta right here is another example of stuff. And I guess it's called the ultimate rewards programs. One of my students um, uses this a lot. So I just wanted to use it as an example because I didn't necessarily want to show a site I personally bought from, but this is one that I've heard uh, other people having a lot of success with and everything like that. So it shows that I guess it's uh, one point for every $1 you spend. And I guess there's like an extra um, point earnership or, uh, a point membership or something like that. Um, in terms of the rewards, let's see. So 25 base points, 2X. So I guess you get like an extra coupon code or something like that. Um, this isn't a site I personally bought from. I just wanted to show you um, an option. You can literally, I mean, when you come to different stuff, you can just search, like look in if they have a rewards portal, look at if they have an email signup coupon or something like that. That's another thing. It's called um, like a catch-all you should go ahead and set up. And it basically is, uh, domain you buy where you go ahead and any email you put into that, uh, you get it linked to sent to filter to a specific domain. So if you put like miles, one, two, three, four, five at, let's say I owned like miles for miles.com, then everything would come through. And so you could get unlimited emails for additional email, uh, coupons as well as using that as your purchase email. So then you could check out really quickly, just putting some random stuff in. If maybe you're running into a site that has order cancels, um, or something like that. So definitely take advantage of getting a catch-all setup as well as any, any of the sites you buy from that go ahead and use like have 
rewards portals or something like that. Like I, I can't even really understand this one from multi. I just wanted to use it as an example. Um, cause I know that there's a lot of opportunity here and a lot of sites have this type of stuff. They just all kind of have their own nuance to it and everything like that. So definitely make sure you're taking advantage of high rewards, credit cards, uh, rewards options, Rakuten, both as a search engine and a tool for cash back. Uh, to find coupon codes and stuff like that, as well as discounted gift cards, specifically if you're doing retail arbitrage and stuff like that, or online arbitrage on sites that you haven't necessarily run into a lot of order cancels on. But that is the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys make money with this stuff. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Thanks a lot.